The Antminer L3 Plus mines Litecoin at a hash rate of 504 MHz at a power draw of 800 watts. Today, this miner isn't nearly as efficient as it was when it first released back in 2017, so in this video, I will be taking it apart. I will begin by unscrewing the four screws holding the intake fan in place. Once those are out, we can take off the fan grill which reveals a 2.7 amp fan that sounds like a jet engine at full throttle. With the fan off, we can see four hashing boards with rows of heat sinks that extract all the heat away from the individual chips. Now I'll be taking off this bracket that's held in place by four screws on each corner of the chassis. With that off, we can get a good look inside and see enough heat sinks to cool down the sun. Okay, maybe that was an exaggeration, but seriously, this thing is basically all heatsink. Moving on to the other side, we have yet another fan that's held in place with four more long screws. Behind the fan, there's yet another bracket like the one on the other side that's held in place with four short screws on each corner. Taking that off, we're greeted by the same view of the hashing boards with tons of heatsinks. Once that is done, we can unplug all the wires being careful not to break any of the connectors. I'm also going to unplug everything from the main circuit board at the top as we will be removing that later on. Once everything is unplugged, all four of the hashing boards will just slide out as they're not held in by any screws. The last thing to take out is this main circuit board that controls the hashing boards and acts like a mini computer that sends out information through the ethernet port. This is the Antminer L3 Plus's control board. From here, data is transferred from the hashing boards into the controller and then sent out from the ethernet port. They come apart into two separate components. I'm not exactly sure what each do, but my guess is that the smaller one is like an Arduino or some other very simple computer, and the bigger circuit board controls the hashing boards. If you know exactly what these two boards do, please let me know in the comments below. And that concludes the Antminer L3 Plus disassembly. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, and if you disliked it, well, you know what to do. Anyways, thanks for watching, and please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content.